So hey everyone, hope you guys are fine. So today what we are going to look is all about rotoscopy. Rotoscopy is a very important technique and it's a very important thing used in visual effects. Basically rotoscopy is a type of 2D animation which helps to out the, cut out this character from a particular video. To make you understand that more clear, let me go in the Photoshop. And in Photoshop you will see there's a character over here and there's a background. If I told you to just cut out this character and make the background saturated, that means black and white, then what you will do? You will just simply select this character, put in a different layer and select the background and simply press Ctrl Shift U. Means if you have to do any changes in this, you have to cut out this character. And if we do the same process in a sequence, it called as rotoscopy. Okay. So now I have a footage over here and if I say you to roto this character out from this background as I have to put a single blast or portal over here. So there's a three techniques to do rotoscopy in After Effects. The first technique is called masking technique in which we create a manual polygons to cut out this particular character so that I will use this pen tool over here. And but before that, let me just duplicate this layer and add over that this layer. Let me just go over here and type for a effect called curve. And simply drag on this layer and change any color like this. So it's a bit different in color like this and now with the help of pen tool just simply create the polygons like this Now you will see why when I connected this whole uh, like line, then it became a polygon. That means it's a complete shape, which is in this shape only the my video is visible now. You see over here, there is an option activated over here called mask. That means the whole thing is seen in particular shape. Otherwise you can't able to see anything. If I just simply in visual the background layer you will see there is nothing over here see now i duplicated this layer as with the help of this layer we will get the color info and now we will just have to animate this shape according to the motion there are three techniques which i use to uh, do rotoscopic first the first is always give a frame gap first second try to divide the polygons as many as you can third Keep your polygon so smooth and less pointed so that you can easily handle it. That means, let me show you. At this point, you see it's already covered with this. Let me just off this so that we can see it more clear. And now if I go like control arrow to go a bit frame further and then with the help of selection tool, I will just try to align the position like this. Now, if you see, it nothing happened. The reason behind that, I didn't put the key over here. To animate it with the moment of your frame, what you have to do is you have to put a key over here. So just go over in the mask and just activate this key. And now at a particular frame difference, let's align them. Let me just fix this thing a bit more clear like this like this now move a bit move some frame further like control arrow and then select them and align like this now you see if i move this then the, my frame like Polygon is moving with my object. So this is this technique is called rotoscopy. This is the first technique. 
let me show you how you will divide this character as many as you can like i had divided the head in a different polygon and then i will use another polygon like this to differentiate the neck portion as you will enable this portion which is roto bezier then you don't need any curves if you disable this you will have to like, should disable this roto bezier then you have to uh, create the polygon or the shape like this like bezier one but if you enable this option you don't have to click and drag and this is the very good feature over here so let's enable it and do rotoscoping with this as you don't need any uh, tangents to smooth the shape this is the first like this let me enable this to show you is it working good or not and with this option over here we will hide and unhide the polygon lines this is the second division let me show you the third division now divide the arms different like this so now i had divided this like in two different ways now this portion will divide the whole in one polygon After that, what you have to do is go in the mask option and enable this mask path option so that you start animating the shape with the movement of the footage. And now if I hide this effect and put a simple effect on a background called tint to desaturate that, same thing will happen. You'll see my only color is in this layer which i had done a rotoscopy but at the background there is nothing happened so hope that had cleared you the meaning of rotoscopy and now you have to just go through that now see the second way to do rotoscopy in after effect let's if you see over here there is an option called rotobrus for that i will again simply just duplicate this layer and just double click on it after that you will see a different window is open here that means at this window you will able to use this brush this brush is basically similar to a quick selection tool of photoshop that means if you just go over here and just simply paint it like this then you will see a pink line outlining the footage the character actually that means it's cutting out the roto now if you see over here there is a simple arrow means if you just move a bit forward like this control arrow see it started like this if something happened like this that your roto just moved a bit further um, then to erase that what you have to do is just press alt and just click like this then okay now just move a bit further so now at one second you see it's already outlined the character then let me just get back to the composition where you will see what happened for that let me just off the background layer and see it had already helped us to cut the roto but there is a small difference that it has a flicker at the head see over here so you have to be very careful if you are doing roto with the roto brush now to just smooth the lines what you have to do is just go with the feather option like this shift age a bit to just keep it outlined or just uh, minus this shift edge and um, like inner also to reduce chattering just increase this 
use motion blur now you see it's like much better now but there's a jitter over here and here also but, but that's not a perfect way to do the rotoscopy perfect way to do rotoscopy is the first way which i had shown you with the help of mask and the last method which you use to do rotoscopy in after effect is with the help of mocha pro now let's have a look how we will use that so you in effect uh, an animation go in animation select the layer and just go in animation and over here just activate this track in boris effects mocha and after that you will see there is an option over here called mocha AE. after that when you click on this icon then you will get back to a new software called mocha and now what you have to do is you have to cut out the roto with the help of tools in mocha rotoscopy is a bit easier as it help you to do tracking and rotoscoping simultaneously let me show you how go in the x spline or v spline whatever you want to do and with the help of z zoom out zoom this and just make a simple bezier like this this portion you will see there's an option called tracking i hit this start tracking this particular shape with the head at this point you will see there is a bit of mistake over here so let me just correct this this now let's have a look it's good now and after that if you hit save and cut this you will see this mat is also here then after that once you cut the roto of the whole character then what you have to do is just simply press this create a mask and the same rotoscopy became the mask over here so this is the best and easy technique to do the rotoscopy in after effect hope you like this part see you in the next tutorial Thank you very much.